Welcome to UML Fan Chris Romero News. Here is your top stories for today. Well, it's a sad day. EA will be shutting down. The Simpsons tapped out. So they wrote a statement on their Facebook account reading, To our beloved fans, we have made the difficult decision to sunset, tapped out, in-app purchases has been disabled, and the game will be removed from app stores on Halloween. You may continue playing until January 24th, 2025. At which point, servers will be turned off and The Simpsons tapped out will not be accessible. The decision to end our 12-year journey is an emotional one. Together with our partners at The Simpsons and The Walt Disney Company, we have delighted in bringing this game to you, the fans, and seeing how you each build your own Springfield. It has been a remarkable journey and we are grateful that we've been able to deliver 308 updates, 831 characters, and including today's final farewell, 1,463 quest lines. As our journey comes to a close, we offer our sincerest thanks to you, the players who have made this all possible. EA. I actually used to play this game when I was little. Takes me back to my childhood days. I used to play it on my Samsung Galaxy Tab 3. Let me know down below, did you play the game and are you gonna miss it? Well, I have not done this in a while. Nickelodeon Plus in Greece has... And to the spot. So on Saturday, it marked it 15 years since Nickelodeon rebranded. And that is not the only thing. Brain Search turns also 15. This was one of my favorite shows when I was little. Okay, I've been getting a lot of fan art lately. And under this username, Hunter15, his birthday is coming up next year. And here's another fan art. And also this one. This one has confetti added to it. And a logo. And a new profile from Big Tunes Comedy Cartoons. Rowdy is telling me that all your favorite DVN shows, sports, and news will move to TBC All Access. Check out both of those channels. And finally, NXT premieres on the CW tomorrow. With more information on what you can expect for tomorrow's NXT on the CW, here is Eric. Eric, what do you have? Tuesday marks the debut of WWE NXT on broadcast television as the show will be moving to the CW from its previous home of the USA Network. The move will come with plenty of trade-offs, as the CW is in more homes than USA Network, but the latter is a higher profile channel compared to the former UPN according to Restylnomics. The CW will bring NXT to 18 million more homes, as that is the number of households currently using over-the-air antennae. That said, the extra 18 million homes is not as significant an increase, as USA Network was already in 70 million homes. The CW has also reportedly struggled to deliver comparable ratings to high-performing cable networks like USA. NXT will, however, likely be the most viewed program on the CW, should the program be able to deliver the entirety of its USA Network audience to the CW on Tuesday. The show is expected to have an outsized viewership for the premiere on its new broadcaster, similar to how SmackDown premiering on Fox drew impressive viewership numbers. Unlike the Fox deal though, once the NXT ratings normalize after the highly promoted show, even numbers comparable to the USA Network audience will still be a significant boost to CW's viewership. The move comes amid WWE's media rights shuffling around the proverbial game board. While USA is losing NXT, it recently gained SmackDown, which ended its run on Fox in September. This means USA Network plays home to both of WWE's flagship weekly shows until Raw premieres on Netflix on January 6. CM Punk is also expected to have a major role on the CW NXT premiere, which should bring more eyes to the product. Meanwhile, other upcoming episodes will feature main roster stars like Randy Orton indicating that WWE wants to get the new era of the development brand's weekly show off to a strong Now let me know down below, will you be watching SmackDown on the CW and do you think they'll change their theme song just like SmackDown? Well guys, that wraps this video up. Thank you so much for watching this video. And as always, I will see you all in the next one. Peace out my friends and go Riverhawks and go Pirates. Hashtag the splat is back for good.